Welcome to WISIS 2022 Forum uh, here in Geneva. With me is Gosia Luszczek, uh, who's from Denmark. You're the director of the Young Reporters for the Environment, which sounds like a wonderful organization. What do you do? Hello, nice meeting you. And thank you for the invitation for this. Uh, I'm working for the Foundation for Environmental Education, which is a non-governmental charity organization working globally with all the, over 100 members. And we are working on sustainable development, educating uh, societies about this and inspiring for actions. We have also members uh, for, uh, who are other non-governmental organizations. They are independent, but they are implementing our programs. And one of the programs uh, that is part of the Foundation for Environmental Education is Young Reporters for the Environment and I'm coordinating this program. And uh, uh, YRE is a program that is uh, for students from age 11 to 25 years old, or wider as well, uh, who want to express their thoughts through um, digital tools and prepare articles, photos, and videos, and other stories about environmental issues that bothers them, talk about them, critical, critically think, and also uh, inspire others for actions. And what we do, we also uh, try to work through constructive journalism. Uh, so the students also uh, present the re uh, real picture of the story. Uh, they think critically about that. They show different aspects. They ask experts to talk about it. They want to be inspired. They want to think that still we can do something. And uh, through th these voices of youth, we want to in we want to inspire the societies and tell to them that still, even with small steps, we can uh, change the world. We can take some actions and that have uh, positive influence uh, on this. Uh, and if we work together, we can really make the impact. And you, you, you spoke there about young people feeling overwhelmed by all, all the things that are going on in the world. And one of the themes of WISIS 2022 Forum, of course, is, is resilience and well-being. So, like you said, able to help these people make a positive action yes. to cope with everything. I suppose. Yeah, that's uh, what we are trying to do. And also because the program works globally, we're also trying to connect uh, you from different countries through digital media and talk to each other, see the different perspective of the same environmental problem and uh, look for solutions, ask some experts and try to uh, find if there is something that can be done. Uh, what is the influence of um, production that is happening with our clothes through different countries? When What is the way of the beginning of the production to the moment when, uh, when they can be recycled or maybe reused or uh, looking through the circular economy processes and all these aspects? And also, I'm here as well uh, for the award that we have received for the uh, Wayari Stays Home Challenge. And this was one of the activities that we invented immediately when the pandemic started. And the students were in lockdowns in houses, uh, sometimes fe really f uh, started feeling depressed and like uh, that they don't have contacts with other youth, they don't know what to do. And we invented uh, activities for them uh, when they could uh, inspire each other, talk about it through using uh, social media or other virtual platforms. Uh, so that uh, made a really, really huge impact on their activities. Uh, we got uh, hundreds of youth uh, and thousands of youth involved uh, globally in these activities. And uh, we realized as well that it was very inspirational also for our members who started doing similar activities on national level. And it, it was uh, built on a cascade way. Uh, so we think that it's, uh, it is so important also to include youth and give them opportunities also uh, to use uh, different technologies, different uh, opportunities uh, to find for themselves a niche when they can uh, see themselves very useful and active for the uh, for uh, to talk about environmental issues uh, to see that they are heard as well and that's what our program is helping uh, uh, to do and kind of inspire them with activities uh, and uh, feel that uh, they are the ones who can make change and they are not the only one they are the large network of youth globally it's so clear how 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 that program 
um, has uh, has helped towards the sustainable development goal on the environment and you've been recognized for that. Gosia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.